Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting system. So if you'd like to support us to create more content frequently, do like and subscribe today. Alright, so with the implementation of e-invoice, there are multiple components that we will need to take note of. So in today's video, we'll be looking into a question a client recently asked me. I have a list of foreign customers and also dealing with some government officers. So these entities do not have a TIN number. How can I generate an e-invoice? So in this video, we will show you how we can create a foreign customer and a foreign government entity and also how we can actually validate this e-invoice as per normal. All right? So first thing we need to do is we come to debtor maintenance. Okay. Let's create a customer. So let's say AB. AAA private limited okay so from here we can of course request them or we can actually create our tax entity here so we say for this example we're going to create we press add new so here we press business and then here we select foreign business okay so when we take foreign business here the system will automatically identify this is EI000020 all we just need to fill up is if you got their business registration number if not you can leave it blank because it's no longer compulsory we just need to put whether or not you know the MSIC code if you don't have also you can put 000 like that then it's not applicable so all we just need to do is put in the name AAA private limited okay and then here we need to put a phone number let's say 65 and a set of numbers and then here we put the email AAA at gmail.com okay so we can put in the address also and here we can put in the postcode okay so let's say this is Singapore and here we can type Singapore okay and for the state we just said not applicable and we can press save already okay so if it's a government of course we just need to come here and then we must select government so today's example I show you on the business side we press save and then now here we can put AA private limited once done we just press save and let's create an e invoice okay so we come to invoice here we press AAA okay and then from here we press plus and then here we can select our product and then we can say how much we want to sell it for okay all right so what happens is uh, of course my example now is running on um, what we call the relaxation period so I can choose I want to generate the e-invoice I can untick the consolidated e-invoice so the system will automatically generate for me I press approve okay then I can come back to my invoice here so you can see it's pending let's say I refresh submitted I refresh again so of course uh, the status will depend on the LHDN servers so sometimes it will be quick sometimes it will take a little while but of course once we done it will have this word called valid and tells you that this invoice has been generated properly already okay so same thing if it's a government office we can come here to adapter maintenance select this is GOV organization so what happened is when we create the tax entity here we select this is government okay so once it's government same thing all this is no longer highlighted and you just need to fill up the msic code register name phone number address and all this highlighted one and press save okay so let's just double check and see whether our invoice has been validated we press here refresh looks like uh, it's not ready yet so again like we mentioned this is based on LHDN server so Autocom will just continue trying to send it and see when the information is being received okay so how you like to actually take into account of this uh, you can actually come here to e-invoice you can actually see e-invoice status as well then you can press search and then you can actually press refresh okay so you can actually see whether or not this has been validated all right Okay, so this is actually how Autocom will be able to cater for the new changes in the e-invoice implementation. You do leave in the comments below if you have any further questions. Alright, thank you.